management system. So, okay, yeah. so you're, you're saying if she were emailing a colleague, an underling within the department, that I might not have my FOIA request responded to by her, by the secretary, but by one of the others. But what if you're seeking advice of Brian Fallon? What if my friend Lanny Davis were consulted by the secretary and it was a matter of public significance and relevance? I wouldn't be able to get that information, and therein lies the problem with the way in which she went about it, no? Well, there are disagreements about what constitutes a public record, uh, a government record. And so there, there are plenty of exchanges involving her and personal friends of hers or people that had served in her uh, husband's administration in the 1990s. And uh, a lot of it was personal interactions and exchanges and not not something that would be treated as a government record uh, but in turning things over to the state department uh, she and her team made a very conscious effort to make sure that they were over inclusive and turned over things that even a, a reasonable person might conclude was not a government record at all and they turned it over anyway and as a result some twelve hundred emails that she turned over have been actually returned back to her because the state department decided uh, that it didn't constitute a government record. Right, but the problem is that she had sole power and authority to make that determination, and that's not, you know from your experience in the, in the Justice Department, that's not the way this should work. There should be a FOIA technician, someone whose job it is to review that information, and because she went the private email server route, it empowered her to be the sole arbiter of what the public would see. I don't know that the public understands that, but that's what this issue is all about. Well, like I said, Michael, we were over-inclusive, and that's been vindicated by the fact that some 1,200 emails already have been returned to her as not necessary for the purposes of responding to the FOIA request. But look, we would be the first to recognize that uh, there are more that, there's more that can be done to improve the FOIA compliance process. The State Department IG did a report a few weeks ago to that effect, and I know uh, Hillary Clinton herself, uh, during her time there, sought to improve the department's compliance policies to ensure that the department was operating in as transparent a manner as possible. And with respect to the recommendations that got made in the report several weeks ago, I know that John Kerry, uh, Secretary Clinton's successor, is implementing many of those reforms now. So we can always do better. Uh, it's a constantly evolving process to try to improve FOIA compliance. I want to switch.